All right, in this video, we're gonna be factoring a polynomial completely. So what we're gonna have here is some polynomial that doesn't factor by grouping, uh, and our best method of factoring it is using synthetic division to kind of chop it down into smaller pieces. So what we have here, 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 61x minus 20. And what the problem tells us is that x minus five is a factor. Uh, because we know x minus 5 is a factor, we can go ahead and divide the polynomial, divide f of x, by the given factor. And I'm going to do synthetic division for this. So we write the coefficients of the polynomial across the top. 3, negative 2, negative 61, and negative 20. And we're dividing by the factor x minus 5. Now on the outside of this bar we want the solution to x minus 5. So we're going to take the opposite sign. On the columns we add. So the 3 comes down. Now as we go diagonally we're going to multiply 3 times the 5 and that gives us 15. On the columns again we're going to add negative 2 plus 15 that gives us 13 multiply diagonally 13 times 5 gives me 65 add down on the column 4 times 5 is 20 uh, we should get a remainder of 0 uh, because it said x minus 5 is a factor uh, when we divide by 5 uh, if we don't get a remainder of 0 either we wrote the problem down wrong or there was an error in arithmetic. Uh, maybe we messed up adding, uh, maybe we messed up multiplying. What I do know is that my solution here uh, is gonna start with an x squared. So these are the coefficients of my new answer, 3x squared plus 13x plus four. Now my ultimate goal is to factor this. Um, however, we have a value in front of the x squared here. We have an a value other than one. Kind of be a pain. Uh, we could guess and check, um, you know, put three x in one set of parentheses, x in another, and see if we can figure out how. Uh, but we've been working on some algorithm in class to do this. Uh, it's called the bottoms up method for factoring. What I'm gonna do is multiply the a value by the c value, or excuse me, the c by a. So I'm going to take this 3 and multiply it by 4. On the next line down, I no longer write the 3 in front of the x squared. Now I have to factor the polynomial x squared plus 13x plus 12. So we're looking for what multiplies to give me negative 12 that at the same time adds to give me 13. Now we could list all these factors out, but it's pretty easy to see that 12 times one gives us 12, and 12 plus one gives us 13. Those are my two factors, x plus 12, x plus one. Now, the next step of this bottoms up method for factoring. I multiplied by three originally. I have to undo that. So I'm going to divide both of the numbers by 3. We reduce, if possible, 12 divided by 3 we know is 4, and 1 third does not reduce. Uh, this method of factoring gets its name, the bottoms up method, from taking the bottom of any denominators and moving them up in front of the variable. Therefore, our factors are x plus 4 and 3x plus 1. Now, these two factors come from this polynomial, the answer, but there's one more that I have to write to complete my answer. I'm going to take this x minus 5 and bring it all the way down to the bottom. So what are the factors of 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 61x minus 20? x plus 4, 3x plus 1, and x minus 5. Hope this helps.